So let me tell you one very important scenario of one of my friend. Okay, so he was working in a banking sector with almost four years experience, and uh, that banking application, the API was working very very fine, right? And one of the very silly mistake that they have done is in in the payment for a particular price of a product, right? That product uh, was uh, the response was coming in a string format, and that was not consumable by UI, and that costed millions of dollar for that. simple api test case where you need to add basically check the data type of that api right and that was a disaster at that time so in this video i'm going to talk about the top 7 api testing mistake that you guys you guys are doing and that can save you this millions of dollars and if you are a re, if you really want to become a great software tester right this mistakes will help you a lot right guys Awesome. So let's start with the first important mistake: testing API in a silo and ignoring the interaction with the UI. Let me make this bold. Okay, what exactly this means? Uh, testing API in a silo basically means that uh, this is the API. Okay, developer has basically given you this API. He has created a Jira ticket. These are the endpoints. These are the payloads. Please test it out. But what happens is. you have no tested this with the ui so when this api is basically get integrated with the ui right and that is no tested so this is really really a bad practice you should ask your developer what will happen if i basically test this api or in you will when you are going to integrate this with the uh, with the ui what will happen what are the mistakes or what are the different errors we can get right you have to make sure that so make sure as a software tester it's your responsibility to don't test apis in silo and ask your developers as well as who whoever is responsible to test it out with the ui layer also okay so that's really really important this is a second point uh, is that you have a outdated regression suite or even sometimes you are not doing a regression testing what exactly it means is you have uh, a particular set of apis okay so for example 100 request now 20 are new request which you have tested out and then you have basically moved that project to the production but what happens it's really really important guys you have to make sure that you have a regression suite that is automated or you are testing it manually make sure that is up to date and you are testing it out also because regression test there if you see in production right if you see the data right most of the bugs that you generally see out of 10 around 7 to 6 are because of the outdated regression or from the regression right a uh, few of the very very few of the few of the bugs actually are from the new set of feature that we have tested so make sure you pay attention to this so don't make this mistake i have done it many times okay so two important points again i am reiterating don't test your apis on silo make sure you are checking with the ui layer also ask the question to the developer right what will happen uh, are we are we missing any scenarios if we are not testing it with the ui layer and make sure you ask your the question to yourself as well as to other team members if our regression suite or the regression suite that we have for this api is up, updated or not okay the third important point which is not validating with the maximum input combination maximum input combination basically means positive test case negative test case make sure you try to fail the in the negative test case generally what people do is they basically happily do the positive test case and then they move to production right this is actually 99 90% of the time people are happy and this works very well but in the negative test cases they try only few test cases and that's fine but if you think about from the user user perspective this negative test case basically are going to break your application or break your api response okay in the end so make sure uh, whatever the negative test cases are there right you basically brainstorm this with your developer that these are the test cases that i already have and this brainstorm with your team or basically ask your colleagues about this that i am testing this negative scenarios and i am hoping that most of the users which are basically going to use this are only adding these kind of scenarios okay they are testing it so th this is really really important for you guys don't make this mistake i have done it many 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 times now i have basically generally ask my peer uh, testers as well as developer also tell me about let's discuss about the negative test cases also these those are very very important okay the fourth important point is testing api manually and not adding to the regression suite which basically means uh, this is a new feature and this you have a regression suite also 
right but most of the people do is again new feature they test it very well and regression shoot sometimes they ignore it or sometimes they have an automation and they basically say everything works fine let's release the release the uh, apis right but many times they forgot sometimes uh, regression to automation sometimes gives a false report false positive response okay so this is actually uh, one of the mistake that we have i have done it also where relying on the regression suite through automation is really really uh, sometimes hurt you back also okay so make sure uh, i would recommend if you are not sure about your regression suite right that's totally fine you can definitely do a quick round of manual check as well as make sure your regression suite is updated and if you are running automation make sure you are checking it manually also if there are no false positive in this one and make sure you are uh, releasing the product very smoothly in this right uh, the first uh, the fifth point is basically you are uh, avoiding the api documentation sometimes what uh, what happens is uh, developer give you a jira ticket and you completely miss the documentation and you just start exploring the application you say okay everything works fine i have prepared my test cases and this is the test cases and let's release it but you miss the overall api documentation and the keys and other things and the payload that developer has mentioned in the api documentation so you try to avoid the api documentation this is a really really bad practice make sure you are paying attention to this okay and random failures so again i told you right people ign ignoring the documentation and moving towards the random bugs or random failures it, so ignore these guides uh, guys uh, make sure you are preparing a proper test plan right go one by one and if, go with the positive scenarios negative scenarios cover everything what uh, apis are talking about make sure you check out the all the payloads that this api is working fine for them right and after that you just go and check your regression suite and everything works fine then you release the product right don't go with the random or bug failures because this will give you initial initially it will give you some errors but in the end you will miss the important functionality of it okay so pay attention to this one uh last one uh, no second last one which is basically uh, as a tester it's your responsibility that you basically ask the question related to security performance and stress and location based testing many times what i have seen is people uh, they got a jira ticket they do positive and negative test case and they say okay i am responsible for functional test and let's release the product but what about the security what about the stress testing of this api what about the location based response right all these questions are generally not asked and uh, in the production we have a bugs related to it and there is and qa is only responsible for it because he has included in the test strategy or test plan okay so make sure you are paying attention to this don't make this mistake i have made this mistake many time make sure you ask this question to the stakeholders and uh, the developer and let them know this uh, let them know if you don't have any kind of a performance or security team make sure you do at least some minimum check to release that product okay awesome let's come to the seven point which again i have told you many times uh, from this that people avoid to create a test plan for api testing i don't know why they ignore the test case also i don't know why but i would request request since you are my uh, student and you want to learn from me this is how i do it whenever i get a jira ticket i prepare a test plan around it i create test cases also right whatever the test case generally have i do positive test case negative test cases right and if i have a regression suite i make sure that it's an updated one and i try to execute it and after that whatever the test case required automation i can i will automate it side by side and run it multiple times through staging through pre prod and prod and then i make sure that everything works fine so we have a test plan test cases and all the thing and automation correctly ready so this is a kind of a proper uh, view that i have told so i hope this uh, you have learned something new guys from this one these are the seven important mistake that i have uh, faced personally and i am given you everything on this video if you want to learn about api testing selenium and other things related to software testing you can go through the testing academy youtube channel and check out the videos and check out the 30 days challenges also that we have started earlier all right thanks a lot for watching till now i'm really really uh, glad that you have made it till now thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video